May Guillain Markle has been quoted as saying that she desires privacy, yet she has also been seen on quasi-royal tours that make it all about her, one royal expert believes. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have recently finished their four-day tour of Colombia, which took place this week. During their time there, the mother of two displayed a tour drove that cost £90,000 for her many engagements. Cartagena de Indias, which is located on the Caribbean coast, and Cali, which is widely considered to be the indisputable capital of salsa, were among the places that Meghan and Harry visited during their vacation. Robert Jobson, a broadcaster, stated on The Sun's royal exclusive show that if Meghan and Harry had remained members of the royal family, they would have been able to have a tour that was quite similar to the one they are currently on. He stated, She could have had all of that anyway. I was down when she went to Tonga, Fiji, and all of these places in Australia. She had a very good press there, and there were a lot of different outfits that she changed into. And even in South Africa, they had a tour that was pretty reasonable, but I think it was bad in terms of the other things that were going on because of the circumstances. The question that I cannot comprehend is, why? What is the point of claiming that you want privacy and doing things in a different way, and then doing them in a way that is solely about you, rather than, you know, doing it to help your country and serve? Robert stated to Matt Wilkinson, the royal editor of The Sun, that it was absurd that Meghan was received with a curtsy when she arrived on the Fox Royal tour. This was in spite of the fact that the pair retired from their positions as senior working royals in the year 2020. The following is an excerpt from his statement. One thing that I think was a bit absurd was when she was greeted by the vice president and she curtsied to him. Why don't you try? You should get rid of all of that if you are no longer utilizing the royal title and you do not want it to be perceived as royal. It's completely absurd. A number of issues that are important to the couple's philanthropic foundation, Arcuel, were brought to the couple's attention during their trip to Colombia while they were there. Both the military community and the empowerment of women were highlighted during Harry and Meghan's most recent trip, which is reported to be a topic that is very important to their hearts. Together with the Parents Network, the Arcuel Foundation is now striving to create a more secure online environment for children. They are also putting pressure on the world's largest technology companies to take responsibility for the safety of children. The purpose of their visit is to prepare for a subsequent conference that will take place in Colombia in November. This conference will address topics such as cyberbullying, online exploitation, and the effects that these threats have on mental health. During the trip, the press was closely controlled and the couple chose a royal reporter to cover the event for them. Robert went on to say, the truth is that they do not enjoy being criticized. As much as they give it away, they are unable to take it. During her trip to Colombia, the Duchess of Sussex, who is 43 years old and lies in their family home in Montecito, which is worth 12 million pounds, with Prince Harry, who is 39 years old, and their two children, Prince Archie, who is five years old, and Princess Lilibet, who is three years old, went all out with her tour costumes. According to the Mail, she wore a total of 11 different outfits, and the dollar value of her jewellery and clothing combined was £90,000. And this was without taking into account her engagement ring, which is estimated to be worth a great deal more because to its familial connections to the royal family. A Against Evil Eye bracelet by Lorraine Schwartz was worth £15,000, while Princess Diana's Cartier watch, which cost £17,800, was among the pieces of jewellery she wore throughout her tour. As part of her journey to Colombia, Megan wore various she outfits by Johan Ortiz, and Olive Branch to Victoria one of the many Beckham, Colombian designers by wearing a silk supported. chocolate brown shirt that cost £597 and was designed by her. This was in response to the rumours that they were at odds with each other. Following their decision to step down from royal duties in January 2020, Prince Harry expressed his hope that their decision would result in a more peaceful life in a speech that was delivered at the St. Bale Chapel in Kensington. He made the following statement, I want to make it abundantly clear that we are not going to walk away 
and we are not going to walk away from you. We had the hope that we would be able to continue serving the Queen, the Commonwealth, and my military associations without receiving any funding from the government. Regrettably, that does not appear to be feasible. Despite the fact that I am aware that this does not alter who I am or the level of commitment I have, I have come to terms with it. I hope that this helps you comprehend what has come to. That in order to take a step ahead into what I believe will be a more tranquil life, I would take my family away from everything that I have ever known. In the shocking interview that Meghan gave on Oprah, she stated, I believe that everyone has a fundamental right to possess privacy. Fundamental. In this conversation, we are not going to discuss anything that anyone else would not anticipate. However, she denied the notion that they retracted their participation due to privacy concerns, stating that they have created a false narrative on the matter. I have never discussed the topic of privacy. Instead, she asserted that they desired respect and boundaries. The news comes just a few days before Meghan and Harry are scheduled to go on their vacation to Colombia, when Josh Kettler, the head of staff, passed away. Within a span of just three months, Kettler resigned from his position as Harry's fixer. It was reported that the senior public relations supervising executive had been brought in to guide Harry through his next phase. On the other hand, the staff member resigned after serving in the capacity for a period of three months following what Team Sussex maintained was a mutual decision. Additionally, a friend of Prince Harry has stated that he desperately wants to be admired in the same way that William and Kate do, and that he misses his beloved home. The prince, who used to be so upbeat and optimistic, is reportedly missing Britain, according to a close acquaintance who claims to still receive texts from Harry. An old friend of the former royal made the statement that he would want to stay in the United Kingdom, where everyone loves him, just like Prince William and Princess Kate are. This information was revealed by the Times. He has become estranged from his family and the majority of his previous friends, according to the friend who spoke to the site. An angry young man is he. Things have not gone the way he had hoped they would. Those who are familiar with him have the impression that he would like to be at the top of the charts here, where everyone loves him, just as they love William and Kate.